Okay. I'm not used to doing tutorials, but I'm gonna be uh, doing a hair tutorial on how I shade my pony's hair. My first thing that I usually do is I take the layer file and then I make two layers above it. One, they're both clipped, one's multi and one screen. You can change the mode usually. There's usually a thing like I'm sorry there's one I, I think uh, Fire Up Pack has one. Um, I'm on Clip Studio Paint so but anyways so I just usually select the color of the base of the hair which I'll probably uh, like change it later because if I just do this you you know it looks better up here not down here which I can show you how to make it look better for gridded it here um my first thing is obviously I take my pen which my settings are right here I'm a multi-layer I usually just zoom in and I start making layers make sure that you have like the width of this to the proper site because you don't want like really thick lines you want like a decent like that you know thin but not too thin whatever you prefer and I just start making shadow slash lines where I see fit these lines are just uh, smaller strands of hair so it's like not too much effort into them okay okay then after um I make like the lines with the color multi-layer usually that's when I there's two ways to go about it usually like you can just take a airbrush usually hard or soft depending on which you prefer and then I just shade usually at the where the hair is usually attached to the skull if that makes sense it's like this area and then I usually do it do some at the ends too it gives it some effect and then maybe where you think that there will be a little extra shadow like behind the hair right here um, like here not really much anywhere, general. Um, I'm gonna lock the layer and I'm gonna grab this color. It'd probably be easy if you go like this and then grab the color. Cause then you can use the brush tool and make it fade. And if that's too light for you and you don't like it, you can always make it slightly darker and like test it out. Like, I thought that was a little too light, so I'm like. Dark and dark. I darkened it up over here. So it looks better. And then I go to screen, the screen layer. Same thing, grab the color that I want, and then I, because what screening does is that it lightens that color that you have, and then multiply it, darkens it, so, and then usually I just add highlights to the hair, where, in between strands, gives it that more soft look, I would say. Oh, that look that of uh, you got hair strands. I'm just doing what seems like looks best, you know, eyeing it out.
I'm also changing the brush size as I continue this. So like, these are bigger so I did a bigger brush, these are smaller so I changed the brush size. It helps if you have a um, shortcut for it. If that makes sense. Um, so then you have that softed, soft, shaded look. And just to add a little bit more, I'm going to make another screen layer so it's not on the same one just in case if I don't like it. but. Just add some sh extra shine. On certain spots up here. Like the more poofy. And that's how I shade hair. And if you want to go the extra mile to make it look good and you're done and the end up black, you can always go in with two line that line you can always go into the line art and change the the color of the lines so which usually I would take the darkest color darken it up a little bit make sure you lock it and then you color it because like, if you like the the black look, the line, the, the black line look, otherwise you can do that, and that helps too. I'm gonna leave it as black though, because I like it. Also, this piece is by um, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I'll put her name on the screen for the base maker and then I'll link her, the base down below. The character that I did is a character I just adopted the day that I'm recording this video. And if you would like to see more um, tutorials from me, even though I'm not the greatest at t doing tutorials, don't get me wrong, like I try my best, but the only way I'm gonna get better or improve on making tutorials is by doing so but if you do like it please just let me know like the video it helps but otherwise yeah that's at least one of the ways I shade hair it's mainly my go-to I like I usually test out other things to try to like get the hair to look the way I want it to look but that's how I do it if you want to see how I shade the body or the eyes. I can do tutorials on that. How I sketch, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> just tell me. Let me know. Or maybe I'll just do it on my own when I need it to upload a video. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.